Okay, so how many of you are majoring in some form of writing degree? Creative writing, technical writing? No one? <laughs> how many of you believe this statement is true and practice this statement? How many of you think writing is your best friend? One. Okay, two, two sometimes. Okay, so perfect, right? How many of you write this, say this thing in the morning when you wake up? Hey, writing is my best friend. How many of you say that? One. And the rest of you don't. Okay, perfect. Well, what I'm going to argue today is that writing is your best friend. Okay? When I asked, when I asked my wife to marry me, right, she said, yes, but on one condition. And I said, what, that I stop being badass? And she's like, no that you take engagement pictures with me. Now for you, sir, taking engagement pictures might not be a big deal. All you gotta do is pose like this guy. <laughs> That's all you gotta do, right? And you take an engagement picture. But for me, that was a difficult thing to do because I'm a thug, <laughs> I'm a gangster. And the earliest known photo of me is there. So posing like this guy was difficult for me. And I was not motivated to do it or interested. To further iterate while I was a thug and a gangster and not a nerd, thug, this is me at prom with my then girlfriend, Scarlett Johansson. This is me at graduation. This is me meeting the ex-president of the United States. And on all of these descriptions, right, I, I'm not doing this. I was not motivated or interested to do that thing. What I often find is that my students tell me this. I'm only interested in writing when I am interested in what I'm writing about. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's all of us. The only problem with that is this. All of you are at the university, uh, UTRGV, right? And the UTRGV has core classes that we need to follow. Everyone takes US History 1301. This is Dr. Hancock's syllabus. This is his grading formula. That right there is one of his writing assignments. Five page writing assignment in history. Five plus pages. So if you do the minimum, you still have to do five pages. And I know what you're thinking. Five pages all day, every day, papita. And you're right, because you're a genius. Core requirements for UTRGV. Second class you have to take, political science, 2301. This is Dr. Chapman's syllabus. This are the writing requirements. Essay, what does it say? No less than 10 pages long. At 10 pages, I don't know what you're thinking. All day, every day, papita. And you're right, because you're geniuses. I get it. This is art appreciation, 1301. I don't know what you're thinking, in art class, right? I'm gonna be drawing and, and, and looking at pictures. What writing assignment can there possibly be in art class? Well, boom, boom. Every semester the instructor assigns a unique five to eight page paper for art. I know, right, art. And I know what you're thinking, I'm gonna do a minimum five pages, papita, all day, every day. But let's put those together. If you are taking all of these courses in one semester, how many pages do we have so far? 20. If you do the minimum, that's 20 pages that you're assigned to write. Core requirements, 1301. That's the class I teach. But don't worry about it. Because do you think you do writing in a writing class? Of course you do, look at his face. If you don't think you do writing in a writing class, the lowest assignment that my students, or the major, from the major assignments, my students have to write a minimum of 12 pages. From their Minimum assignment. That's not including daily assignments that I have them do. That's not including um, drafts that I have them do. 
minimum is 12 pages. So let's put all of these in perspective. That's 32 pages that you have to write minimum in your core classes, 32 pages, right? That's 7,900 words. And if you don't feel like writing is your best friend, then that's 86 of these, and these, and these, <laughs> and these, and finally those. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about self-talk and motivation. How when you look in the mirror and what you tell yourself, that directly contributes to your motivation to do a thing. This guy talks to himself, this girl talks to themselves. If you've told yourself this, I hate writing, or I'm not good at writing, or I don't have anything else to write about, or I'm just going to BS the next 10 pages, or oh, writing is so tedious, or why do I need to write six pages when I can easily say it in two? Or I'm just not gonna turn it in. If you tell yourself these things, and it directly contributes to your motivation to do your papers, your 32 papers that you are going to have to write. At the beginning I asked, how many of you tell yourself in the morning, writing is my best friend, and we only had one person say it, despite the fact that you will be doing it at length during your time here. If you keep telling yourself that it's not your best friend, if you keep telling yourself that math isn't your best friend, science isn't your best friend, that you hate these sports, I mean these sports, they hate these subjects, right? then it will directly contribute to your motivation to do it. Okay? Um, so, positive self-talk. I want you to say this every morning. But for now, I want you to say it with me right now. So, I am awesome. Because you are and because everyone recognizes it. And I will write an awesome paper. Then my professor will quit his job after reading because he'll recognize that he'll never see something so beautiful again. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Okay, tell yourself that. Even if you don't believe it, even if it's hard, even if you still hate it, right? Don't tell yourself you hate it, though. Now look. I hate taking wedding pictures. Hate taking pictures, period. That guy right there, he's not gangster. He's not thug. But I told myself, my wife's my best friend. Taking pictures, engagement pictures, is my best friend. Even though I want it to look like that, <laughs> that directly motivated me to do a thing. Right? So if you haven't adopted this yet, hopefully 32 pages later, you will have.